Hi, this is Dr. Saila. Let's talk about swine flu today. As there is a swine flu outbreak continues in India as of March 2015. Swine flu is a type of flu which is caused by different influenza subtypes. Most common is H1N1 type. There was an outbreak of swine flu detected in March 2009 in Mexico. As of March 2015, the outbreak continues in India. Let's talk about the symptoms of swine flu. It comes with fever, usually of more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and cough, sore throat. Like any seasonal flu, you'll have symptoms like uh, stuffy nose, muscle pains, headache, chills. How do we differentiate swine flu from the seasonal flu? It's not always easy, but there are some clues I can give. Swine flu comes with gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea and vomiting and other common symptoms that I just mentioned are more severe with swine flu than the seasonal flu. Let's learn a little bit about the swine flu transmission. Like the name says, it's transmitted from pigs and human to human transmission is common through the droplets from sneezing and coughing and the body fluids from uh, diarrhea or sputum. They're all infectious too. It's not transmitted from cooked pork products like many people think. How long you think is the person with swine flu infectious, which means they can pass on the infection? The viral shredding is observed to begin a day before the onset of symptoms and lasts for five to seven days. And it lasts even longer in individuals with uh, immune compromise. And the first two to three days of illness is highly infectious time. Although the majority of reported deaths occurred in individuals with underlying health problems, up to one third of hospitalized patients had no underlying chronic illnesses. Death rates are slightly higher in pregnant women compared to general population. Do you need to be treated with antiviral medications once you get the swine flu? Yes, there is a little confusion about it, but I'll tell you what the recommendation is. Some groups called high risk groups these are patients with uh, severe complicated illnesses and children less than 5 years old, adults more than 65 years, pregnant women, and individuals with certain medical conditions need to be treated with antiviral medications such as Tamiflu. Do you need to be treated if you are in close contact with a person who has known swine flu? Yes, again, if you fall under high risk group, then it's recommended that antiviral medications are needed. What are the preventive measures you can take? Nowadays you see in all the photographs people wearing masks everywhere if there's an outbreak. So there's no need to go that panicky but I'll just give you some instructions on how to protect. If you fall in high risk category you may wish to consider avoiding large social gatherings. Sick people with swine flu or any flu should keep distance from others and stay home and don't go to work during the contagious period. If they need to go out, they must wear mask to avoid spreading the virus and cover cough and sneeze with tissues or handkerchiefs if you don't have a mask. Frequent hand washing with soap water or alcohol based hand wash to protect from germs is recommended especially before eating and after touching any surface that you think might be contaminated with flu virus. The most important preventive measure is build your defenses. A strong immune system can prevent flu virus or any virus attacking your body. What can you do to build your defenses? This is a very interesting question, isn't it? Eat healthy diet and eat fruits rich in vitamin C such as guava, gooseberries, citrus fruits and kiwi and avoid sugary fruits, refined grains, don't drink sodas, don't eat junk food and sleep well, drink 8 glasses of water every day and do regular exercise, take a multivitamin tablet and make sure your vitamin D is in therapeutic range. These things are more helpful than getting hysterical and wear a mask every time you step out of the house. If you are not sick with flu, wear mask only when you go to crowded places. Be mindful that mask is good only for a specific period. Is there a swine flu vaccine? Yes, there is. 
In fact, since 2009, uh, the seasonal flu vaccine is coming with swine flu vaccine. Is it safe? No vaccine is 100% safe. You do have some common reactions such as redness, swelling, arm pain, and if you are allergic to eggs, you shouldn't be taking any flu vaccine. And there are some rare neurological complications with any vaccine. And how effective is the vaccine? The vaccine is only effective against the strains of viruses that match the vaccine. The effectiveness of the flu vaccine depends upon the extent of the match between the viral strain used to prepare the vaccine and those virus in actual circulation. Some are concerned about a substance called thimerosal, which is a form of mercury in vaccinations. It depends what type of vaccine you're getting. If you're taking a flu mist spray or single shot vials, there is no thimerosal. If you are taking multi-shot vials, it contains thimerosal. This is a preservative which has a form of mercury and is used to prevent bacterial contamination of the vaccine. Will the seasonal flu vaccine provide protection against the spine flu? No, unless it is specified that there is a spine flu vaccine in the seasonal flu vaccination. Please check my website drsaila.com drsaila.com for more details on this topic and for the references. This information is based on my opinion. This is intended as sharing of knowledge and is not intended as medical advice or a substitute for your doctor's visit. If you need medical advice, always contact your own professional health care provider and do your own research. Thank you. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. And remember, as always, your health is in your hands.